Charles Hamilton. Everybody hates Charles Hamilton. A lot of people have been asking me to talk about Charles Hamilton because they hate him. Charles Hamilton is a rapper and he's a good rapper. He's a real bright, creative young dude who makes good music. But the problem is anytime he does anything besides making music, he always does it wrong. And he always does it wrong on the internet so that we see it and it makes us hate him. Charles Hamilton is the gift and the curse of the internet personified. As a young kid working by himself, he's been able to connect people with his music and build a following much quicker than any independent artist could have before the internet. But being able to do that means that now he's a young kid working by himself, suddenly getting a whole bunch of attention that he's not ready to handle. And all those tools that gave us immediate access to his music are now giving us constant immediate access to all his worst moments of immaturity and narcissism and all the other weird, annoying ass behavior that's making everybody hate him. And I feel bad watching him get caught in that trap. So since I seem to be one of the few people left in hip hop that doesn't hate him yet, I'm gonna try right now to say some words in defense of Charles Hamilton. And please understand, all jokes aside, normally I wouldn't do this because I don't think it's my place to psychoanalyze somebody on YouTube. But right now, this kid is so close to sabotaging his entire career, I feel like somebody has to say something. And I do think that I kinda sorta understand where all this weird behavior is coming from. I worked for six years at a group home with kids around his age. And every kid wasn't the same, they each had a different story. But one thing most of them had in common was a rough childhood. Most of these kids had been through some serious trauma and they survived that trauma by building up a whole set of defense mechanisms to keep themselves from getting hurt again. And then what would happen is after they got away from the trauma, they would have trouble functioning in society because they were still holding on to those defense mechanisms. And that can manifest in a bunch of different ways. A lot of them would maintain these elaborate fantasy lives inside their heads as a way to avoid dealing with the real world. Some kids would constantly tell lies and make up stories compulsively even when the truth would have been much easier. And then when you call them out on that first lie, they go into a frenzy of deflecting and changing the subject and throwing a bunch of other lies on top of it so that they always turn a little problem into a really big one. A lot of them would be constantly seeking negative attention and trying to antagonize everyone they talked to because they got so much negative attention growing up, they learned that it was the only kind of attention they deserved. All of these things that made society see these kids as arrogant and just too cool to respect anybody, these were all things that they did instinctively because they couldn't help it. Not because of arrogance, but because they were afraid of the world and afraid of themselves. And when I look at Charles Hamilton and imagine that he's one of those group home kids, everything starts to make sense. I don't know his whole life story, but if you read his bio, it looks like he had a rough childhood. He was homeless and on drugs for a whole bunch of his adolescence. It looks like he went through trauma. And when I look at how he's been acting for the last six months, I see a type of craziness that only makes sense if it's a set of defense mechanisms that he can't control. When I look at his blog, it's painful for me to read because I see a kid tying himself in knots trying to avoid an honest look at him himself and the things that he's doing. I see the recipe for disaster that comes when the whole world is looking at you but you can't look at yourself. When I look at Charles Hamilton, I see a group home kid who became an internet celebrity when he wasn't ready for it. Now, does that mean that we should excuse his behavior? No. Does that mean people don't have a right to be mad at him? Hell no. He still owes an apology to Black Spade and Jay Dilla's mother and he still needs to just stop being like that. But I do feel like we should try to remember that he's probably just a kid who can't help himself. That he's probably doing doing these things not because he's arrogant and thinks he's above the rest of the world, but because he's afraid of the world and afraid of himself. So I think we should try to show him just a little bit of compassion. I think we should show him just enough compassion that we completely ignore him whenever he talks from now on. We must ignore Charles Hamilton for the sake of his future and ours. Anytime he talks, anytime he comes on the internet, anytime he does anything whatsoever except link us to an MP3 or sell us an album, we must ignore Charles Hamilton. If we work together, we can make it happen.